Where shall we go today? Where shall we go? Where do you want to go today? Let's explore. Sweden, Sweden, Swiney, 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 Swiney. Drive carefully if you haven't come here. It's a small village. Swinetonson, Swiney, Swiney, has a bus station consisting of this shelf and a seat for one. Social distancing and all that, obviously, on the main road that goes through it. And then. We've got a very, very exciting shelter on the other side, which is part of the bus station as well. And that bit is here. Look at this. And it's even got its own Banksy. That's how posh it is here in Swine. Swine. It's here. It's not all posh though. I mean, obviously, you've got to have people work on your farms and your land and your big house. So they've got some uh, peasants' cottages here, which I think are owned by the Kunstel. There's a sign here that says temporary footpath. Don't know, looks like it's been temporary for a very, very long time indeed. Now, if you own a big house like that, and that is one of the biggest houses we've ever seen, you need to make money to keep it going. Now, I'm only guessing what goes on here, but there's some sheep in that field, so I imagine sheep is quite important. And then you've got this field here, which is full of, uh, well, some kind of um, bamboo-y type thing. Uh, you'd be amazed to know what it really was. But I reckon most of the money they make is from a, a sub-product of these things. Because let's be honest, how else could you afford a house like that? When you come into the village, they have this really nice um, sign with the name on Swin, Swin, Swine, Swine, Swineton. But it also tells you um, that it's 1306, which once a day is correct. Some of the houses are really nice and old. This one has got the uh, time 1812 on it, which again is only right once a day but it's better than not being right at all posh estate they're for the people who are like the supervisors on the great thing where all the sheep and stuff is some places we've been to people are not very friendly towards birds I'll give you for example Os -os 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 but here in S S S S here uh, they give a, um, a bench there and it's just for the birds to poo on it's like a bird bog brilliant even though sneed sn sn is tiny it's not got one church, hell no. It's got two churches and they're both beautiful, but one is for the poor people and the other one is for the rich people who live in the big house. So here we are at the uh, peasants church, but it's still a very nice church. Um, it's even got a clock on it where the time changes. It may or may not be correct at this moment in time. I don't know because I don't have a clock on me. There's no other clock to check. Um, also, some of the tombstones actually show what people did before they died. He was a bricklayer. So, it's lovely, isn't it? Here we've got another bricklayer's tomb. So uh, I'm looking for a florist, but, uh, oh, we've got one there, actually. It's not a florist, but that one there. Uh, he was an escape artist. So there you go. To be honest with you, churches like this do seem incredibly old, incredibly beautiful as well, it has to be said. Um, you know, really, really nice. But it's missing something for me. That's right. I can't see a sundial anywhere. Some might say this is health and safety gone mad. But all the crosses are all led down. Is that so they don't fall over and crush people? I mean, it's totally rammed in here, is it? Oh, so it's three o'clock. So it's got it wrong. To be fair, this is a very well-maintained churchyard. I don't think I've ever seen grass as nice as the grass in this churchyard. And I've been to a lot of churchyards recently. And also, it looks like it used to have a clock there as well, but that's gone. Just got that one now. I wonder if that was clock-cutting exercise. Cost-cutting, clock-cutting, keep up with me. Come on. So this is the church for the posh people because it's attached to the actual um, estate, for one of a better description. Um, if I do that, you can see church there big wall, big house, big house, posh, posh, posh. So there you go. But I'm not allowed in there because I'm not posh. Now, when you own a big estate like this, then you need to have people who can look after it for you, like people who can grass your roofs. It's cheaper than the um, uh, thatch. And uh, put holes, take the windows out, because again, it lets the air in better. But uh, you also need them to garden. So here we've got a, um, I don't know what that was. It looks like some kind of, Turity type thing um, with some stuff, oh, but the garden wasn't tall enough to do any higher than that, so even I could probably reach that. It must have been a short arse. 
I love a barn. I do love a barn. This is a nice barn because it's it's got a lot slot in it there. It's got a window that's been bricked up. Maybe by one of the bricklayers that we found deceased in the graveyard. And another hole in it. And the grass isn't quite there yet, but it's starting to grow because it's still cheaper than thatch. This here is uh, a cottage at the end that no one seems to care about. And I'm, I don't know why I'm getting the all the airs on the back of my neck are going up and everything. I feel like this is haunted, but it can't be because I don't believe in ghosts. So how can it be haunted? You've got to believe in something for it to happen, haven't you? Well, no. Let's be honest. You don't. That's, <sighs> Literally, I've got chills. They're multiplying. And I'm losing control. But not over a girl or anyone else. No. Just because I'm scared of ghosts. Even though they don't exist, but there's definitely one in there. Our gardener's been here as well. Look, more dead weeds. Uh, things of bivy, or whatever it's called. But look at this time. He's cheated. He's quite literally just cut right the way through. He didn't even bother pulling it off. I mean, whenever I'm in the mood, I always pull it off. The posh house is very, very posh indeed. It's even got a big cross thing up there, but they don't need one of them because they've got that bloody big church there. So why would you have one in the house? Just clutters up and he's dusted, that kind of thing. And well, to be fair, if you let whoever runs this uh, churchyard do anything about it, you probably end up lying it down. This fine building here is not, as you would think, a school or anything like that. It is, in fact, a church hall built by the land owner for the peasants so that they could worship him and he could talk to them and tell them how badly they were doing. Nothing says country village like a pub. And uh, this unpronounceable village has got an unpronounceable pub as well. It's the yeah, uh, pub. But good news is, it's got a telephone box there so you can ring someone up and ask them what it is. When you're a landowner and really rich and you have massive cars to fix, build your own garage in the local village. Pretend it's for the locals, but it's really for your Roller, your Bentley, and of course, your Lamborghini. This here is the cottage. Sorry, you're not. There's a cottage uh, there. There's one over there. There's one there. You're a cottage, not the cottage. <sighs> Another empty cottage. This is oak tree hacked cottage because it's got a hatch on it but um sadly it's empty i don't, I don't get any chills from this one this one's not onto this one's a nice cottage okay this is getting a bit weird now this is another cottage literally opposite from the other side of the road from the last cottage and it is completely empty and if you think i'm joking look there's the other cottage where is it there it is and i'm pretty sure that that cottage is empty as well what's going This cottage too is empty. Although to be fair, it does look like they're doing some work on it. But that's a lot of empty cottages. I'm really, really worried now as I enjoy myself up to this point. Now I'm crapping this off. So there you go then, if you want to come somewhere that's um, full of um, really nice cottages. These ones are occupied, but a lot of empty cottages um, and two churches and a big estate and lots of posh things you can do a lot worse than come here to snit snitterton snit snit oh look it up till next time if there is one goodbye where shall we go today where shall we go where do you want to go today let's explore